Has yeah. he reached out to you yeah. about it? Like, oh, I know this God. is about me. Right. Sorry. Yes. Oh. The Mercedes Benz Interview Lounge. What if we totally fail at interviewing someone I mean, in the studio? It it's, could happen. It's, it's, this could be. This could be <laughs> the worst interview ever in our the history no. of the show. <laughs> I doubt it. We welcome to the studio. It's so great to have someone in the studio, a real artist. <laughs> Lauren Spencer Smith is here. Good morning, Lauren. Good morning. Welcome How are you? Welcome to our show. Yeah, thank you for having me. I mean, this really is all about you, but can we make it all about us? Do we seem nervous? <laughs> um, no, just a little bit. The last artist we had in this studio was Ed Sheeran. It was? Oh, my God. But that was in the middle of the pandemic because right. we've swapped all sorts of spit with him, so we yeah. didn't. Right. <laughs> For years. We weren't worried about it. Yeah. You know, normally, Jason Derulo will come in and he smells so good, and I like to mm. smell the... But you smell so good. Thank you. You made this studio smell so beautiful. Now that the pandemic is coming to an end, we can sniff people we again. Can. Oh, we thank can. God. It's a thing. I keep telling my friends, I'm like, you need to smell nice. Like, you're not in your room alone anymore. Like, we need to start taking care of ourselves right. again. Like, you know. You, you can't yeah. smell like a goat anymore. Yeah. No. <laughs> you're actually bathed. Well, uh, let me tell you, Lauren Spencer Smith, uh, performing for us, you, you've never performed this song in front of other people, have you? No, no. It's my first performance of Fingers Crossed. Oh, gosh. You're frightening me. No, it'll be great. <laughs> now you're making me scared. <laughs> That's the whole point. You don't want to be so scared you just run out of the room in terror. Uh, no, you know, having artists as a part of our show for so many years has been just a major part of our show. And then we missed that for so long. And I, let's not talk about the past. Let's talk about now and the future. <laughs> Um, what is this big bag you brought us? Yeah, um, a present for you of things I can't live without. Oh my god! We're just like my essential. <laughs> this is these, stuff these take... are things. If you know me, you know that I I use all these things. Do you, you take, you take all this stuff on the no. road with you, or is it? Um, like... Yeah, or if it's not, then we go get it when I'm there. All right. Do you guys want yeah. to see yeah. what's in the bag? Lauren Spencer Smith's sure. things I can't live without. Okay. Oh my god! There's a lot of stuff oh. in here. Okay, this looks like a. I don't know. I just, People never bring us gifts. I know. Yeah. Oh, it's a it's a big jar of white. Oh, it's a lavender vanilla candle. Oh, oh. Very has to be vanilla. I'm big vanilla scent girl. Oh, I love that. Here, pass it around. Take a hit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff in here. You brought us a lot of great gifts. Ooh, that's oh, nice. Nature Valley Crunchy Granola Bars. Oh, I love those. They're so good. I right. know. They're the like best so many ones. Crumbs in a bed with those. It's I, know, uh, I know. Yeah. You have to eat them over the package, or yes. they just go absolutely everywhere. You're right. Oh, it's Bang Rainbow Uni Rainbow Unicorn Super Creatine Cocktail. What is this? Bang <laughs> Bang Energy Drinks. Like when I shot my music video, like midway through, everyone's like, "Somebody get her a Bang!" Like <laughs> she's crashing. <laughs> She needs the energy. I'm going to need this yeah. in about 20 minutes. Because yeah. <laughs> I'm just an old guy. Oh, oh I, I love Vita, uh, Vita Fusion Multivites. Multivites. These are gummies. Yeah. Because I don't health. I don't like swallowing the pills. And yeah. so the gummies are like. It's more fun to chew. Yeah, the gummies are better. Good for your health. <laughs> oh, it's. It's Hidden Valley Ranch Hell dressing. Yeah. Yep. Okay, let me ask you. You're from Canada. Yeah. So let me assume. What What do you use ranch dressing on? Pizza. Pizza. Oh, wow. I'm telling no. you, I, I, when I first heard you put ranch dressing on pizza, I'm like, oh, I don't know. I get bullied. Well, you know what? We're New Yorkers. We're really weird about pizza. Yeah. But the first time Big Daddy put ranch dressing on his pizza, can we talk about nipple hardening fantastic yep. experience? That was, <laughs> I love it. And so I love that you know you really did bring your favorite stuff. Oh, here's another bang drink. Yeah, peach mango. That's that's the main one I drink most of the time. Oh, oh, oh back on. Hold on, somebody tried to escape. This feels like the Price is Right, by the way. Oh, yeah, it, okay, vitamin D three gummies, perfect. I mean, I mean, need some of those right now. I know because it's the weather's not good here, so it's like you need the vitamin D. Oh, more ranch dressing. <laughs> Puts a lot of ranch on that pizza. I like it. You didn't even bring us pizza. I'm a little ashamed of you. Oh, here's some Hershey's milk chocolate oh, bars. Okay. Really? I, I mean, you're like old school. Like, I don't need. The I do fancy like those. Stuff. I eat. I like Reese's Pieces a lot. Like Reese. But, peanut how do you say cup. it again? Reese peanut butter cup. Don't say it. I said Reese's Pieces, but I didn't okay, mean, I didn't mean to say that, though. So straight Nate, our producer, he calls them Reese's Pieces. Ew, people do that. They it's do so that. wrong. I'm like, that rhymes That's with wrong. feces. I don't yeah. like it. Well, here's another bang. This is Sour Heads bang. But this is great stuff. Yeah. We're not even, we don't have time for the music now. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Here's another Hershey's bar. Here's another Hershey's You guys, are you spreading these things out? What are these tubes? What are these? Vanilla buttercream hand cream. Oh, oh. could you pass that over here, please? Here. There you go. Thanks. That's nice. Oh. You brought us the best of the best. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, our time is up. Right. <laughs>
You know what? Uh, how old are you now? I'm 18. 18. So the song we're, you're going to perform in a second, Fingers Crossed, uh, it's about what, just being pissed off at someone who you just don't want to be with anymore. And rather than mourning the loss of a of a relationship, you're like, you know, screw you. Basically. I mean, I kind of wrote it as a reflection piece. Um, I met my boyfriend who I'm dating now, and he kind of just treats me really well, and it made me realize I was treated really awful. And I was having to, like, unlearn all these toxic tendencies that this past person taught me, and I was so mad. And I just messaged my writers and was like, we need to write, like, a savage heartbreak song. (laughs) Like, I'm so pressed right right now. And so we kind of went in with, like, that intention. Well, you know, Lauren, savage heartbreak songs are very in right now. <laughs> yeah. But wait, your current boyfriend, isn't he like, just get over it. Why are, no. you, <laughs> why are you writing songs about something? But what about me? Yeah, I write so many songs about him, so he doesn't say that. And okay. the ones I write about him are nice, so he's like, I'm good. There you go. Yeah. So if, if this song, if Fingers Crossed, is about how, you know what, I need to just shove this guy out of, out of my mind and out of my heart, the songs you write about your current boyfriend, what are they about? Um, They're kind of about how... I still was having to unlearn all these old things and like was too scared to get into a relationship. Like I don't trust anybody. Like they're happy, but they're not. They're happy because my boyfriend is, you know, idolized as the great person. And then I'm the one that like, I'm just writing about how I'm a broken mess and how like if we ever broke up, it would be something I did and not him. I find it fascinating that let's say you go through a breakup, right? You would never sit on a stage in an auditorium full of 5,000 people and just tell the story about how... It was a relationship, then it went sour, now I hate him, he drives me crazy. But when it comes to being able to put it into words and lyrics and to put a guitar behind it, you're free to talk about whatever's on your mind and purge yourself of anything, any story that needs to be purged. Mm -hmm. That must make you feel great. It honestly does. It's very relieving, Like especially when you throw in some of the lines that are like very direct to that person. You're like, this is my moment for my comeback. (laughs) I like that. Has yeah. he reached out to you yeah. about it? Like, oh, I know this God. is about me. Right. Sorry. Yes. Oh. But not like that. We have a lot of mutual friends. He knows it's about him, but we're like, we're kind of on good terms. <laughs> That's good. Look, you know, <laughs> all the people I've kicked to the curb in my life, I mean, the road is littered with the cadavers of my past relationships. <laughs> yeah. They would probably like really get off on the fact that even though it's a negative song about them, I wrote a song right. about them. Yeah. I actually I I know that a lot of people send it to him and they're like, How do you feel you're at the top of the charts? And he's like, you know, she's doing well, glad for her. So yeah. like we're good. Oh, you know, and- he, he seems like a nice guy. Let's mm-hmm. rekindle that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, don't jump to conclusions, guys. I gotta be honest, I miss him. But if he he hadn't treated you that way, you wouldn't have this song. So yeah, exactly. Everything happens for a reason. You know, you learn. He is the album. (laughs) If you're tripping down the world with no heartache or whatever, like what do you write about? Right. You can just assume. What other people are going through and write about their experiences, but to write it's about not your the own, same though. It's not you the ha- same. I like put myself in awful situations to be like, I'm gonna go through this, but in a week we're gonna have a fire song. <laughs> Bring it on, burn it down. <laughs> By the way, just turning us on. Lauren Spencer Smith is here. Fingers crossed, it's a song that's out, and she's gonna perform it for us in just a few minutes. We were told that we shouldn't bring up American Idol because it brings back bad memories. Is that true? <laughs> no. <laughs> I loved being on this show. Like, you should be. Yeah. It's an honor, you know. Yeah. I even met like my manager that I'm with now. I met him at the show. My best friend, who's like my sister at this point, I wrote so many of my songs on my album with. I met her in Hollywood Week. Like people that I talk to every day that I would not be where I am today. I'm all met on American Idol. See, that's the thing. You know, sometimes we have okay experiences and mm-hmm. things in life, but that's our life. That's that's part of your story. Yeah, that's a part of your thing. I would do anything on American Idol. No, yeah, and then now, you could write a song about that. <laughs> yeah, write a song American about Idol's that. American Idol's terrible. Uh, <laughs> all right. So being from Canada. Do you enjoy coming south of the border? Do you do you like coming to the states? I mean, do you spend a lot of time here? Love America. Yeah, yeah it's it's the best. Like I love Canada for all my Canadianness, but I love America. Let's talk about Canadian Canadianness. Yeah, what is that? Well, I you? feel like well in British Columbia, like you know, like I wake surf and snowboard and like all of that stuff is extremely accessible where I live. And then sometimes when I come here, I'm like, oh, I'm just in California. Like, do I just go to the beach? Like, I can't snowboard here. What's wig surfing? Wake surfing. Oh, wake surfing. So like behind a bunch of drag queens out there. I wish that's. I feel very LA actually. Okay. But um, no, it's like you're behind a boat. No, I yeah. do know wake surfing. Yeah. I thought you said wig surfing. I'm like, <laughs> gotta find out more about that. Yeah. <laughs>
So uh, it is a unique time to be releasing music in the world well, in the world we live in, mm-hmm. you know. And now more than ever, we need music. We we need stories, and mm-hmm. the storytelling is what it's all about. Obviously, you are starting, you, you're mastering that already. If you can write about a relationship that, you know, needs some attention, <laughs> and you know, here we go. So where do you want this to go? Like, what's what's the end game, as they say? Far from it, many years to go. Like, what? where do you see yourself if you want to do the vision board in five years, ten years? What mm-hmm. do you want to be doing? Yeah, I mean, I want multiple Grammys. Okay. I would love, like, very successful album, all that kind of stuff. But, I mean, I think the main thing of why I want to do music, it's not really about, like, you know, everyone knowing my name. It's more about I want everyone to know my name because I want them to feel inspired by like what I bring to the table. Like I want people to be like, oh, you know, she worked on herself physically. So I want to work on my mental health and my physical health. Like I want everyone to feel inspired by everything I do. And I know that my songs help people get through their breakups or like their divorces or whatever it is they're going through. And like, that's the most rewarding part about putting out music. What I don't know if, if you're accustomed to this yet or not, Lauren, but Lauren Spencer Smith, do do a search and you see big numbers. I mean, you were streaming big numbers. Number one, I think what song was number one on YouTube? I mean, was it this one? Or uh, honestly, I don't know. I think so. <laughs> I think you, this you, one probably. So you don't keep that, up with that, do you? I do, but there's so many different like things going on. It's like oh. really hard to keep up with. Okay, let me just tell you. Let me give you some numbers here. As Grandma puts on her sunglasses or her glasses. <laughs> Uh, Fingers Crossed debuted number top three, actually, U.S. Spotify, claimed number one spot on iTunes, overall top songs on the U.S. chart, peaked number one, peaking, of course, at number one, that is a peak, (laughs) isn't it? (laughs) Peaking number one on the Apple Music Global chart, Fingers Crossed released independently January 5th, the song shot to number 19, high on the Billboard Hot 100 later that month. I don't know. Uh, as as an artist, these things, these numbers may or may not mean anything to you. But obviously, people are hearing your message. Obviously, this this great vibe you're wanting to spread to your fans and to people is working. They're hearing it. Good for you. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, it's like the numbers definitely mean a lot to me. It's so cool to know that. But at the same time, it's so new that you don't actually think it's happening to you. So like. Well, my manager calls me and is like, oh, you're number one on this. I'm like, no, I'm not. Like, <laughs> we're not number one. Well, between us, managers <laughs> lie all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're a bunch of liars. <laughs> they, they take the 10% and they just look at it. Actually, it sounds as if you really have a great team of people. I know the, the company, the music company you're working with, they're the best in the business. I adore my whole team. Like, they're just the bomb. Right. And obviously, your manager knows what your manager's doing. Otherwise, you wouldn't be with this incredible group of people. So, yeah. all things great. Yeah. So, a little nervous about performing this song for the first time f- for us? I wasn't, but like you're making it seem like more nerve wracking than what it is. <laughs> it's not that bad. Yeah. No one listens to this show. It's okay. Yeah. I, th- I feel I feel like I've sang it like thousands of times already. So, I think I, I'll be good. So, now that the world is opening up, thank God. And it, obviously, it is. I mean, are you ready for crowds? Are you ready for people screaming? Are you ready to look out in the audience and see people singing along with you to the lyrics that you wrote? That's got to be. A yeah, fantastic thing I practice to. it every morning in the mirror, so I'm very excited for that to come to life. I'm so excited. It's like the best, one of the best parts about doing music is the live shows. Mirrors are so important in life. I remember when I was a kid, I used to uh, practice kissing myself in the oh, mirror yeah. just to see what I look like. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I'm like, I don't, uh, no one wants to kiss that. But Danielle <laughs> used to kiss posters on her wall. Yes. Mm. And I had one that had a little hole in the lips because <laughs> no, I, I practice so much. <laughs> Needed to become an expert. Come on. She made out hard with that poster. So whatever you can practice in the mirror, it, mirrors are gone. It's just us now. Can you do it? Yeah. All right. So Lauren Spencer Smith uh, performing "Fingers Crossed." I'll be good. Okay. What do we do? I'm so awkward yeah, at this you point. Just gotta go to the performance arena now. Oh, we have, oh arena. we have an arena now. I didn't know we had an arena. Wow, God, things must be good. We've got an arena. The Mercedes Benz Interview Lounge.